the cardboard box. Okay, we first start out with setting up our document. The document needs to be in inches, so we drop this down in Inkscape, and we set a width to 14 by 9. This is the palette on a laser cutter, uh, our smallest one. So we build to the smallest, so we can also produce on the largest. You can use a space bar to navigate, just basically hold it down and then move the mouse. Do not press any of the buttons on the mouse. Let's start out with a square. Let's go to the arrow tool and click on the square. Up here at the top, let's switch this to the inches. We'll start with a width of 4 and a height of 4. So if this is 4 inches, we can now know that there is an even amount of increments across here as in four of them inches. So we can build another box. In this case, I go back, click on the black arrow, and click back on this little box. Now, the groove that we need to carve is exactly one or point one four. So, what we could do here, is get a calculator, any calculator, and just go 0.14 times 2, equals 0.28, okay? So, I had made this haphazardly, 0.288, good. All right. The width will be 1. So what we need to do is position this right here. But if you see, positioning it right here is kind of difficult. Like, where is here? There's no snapping, like in the center of this line. So if we turn on a few of these tools, it now snaps right there. I'll use Control D to make a duplicate and move that over. You notice it snaps right to it. If you grab it here, it will snap to the corner of that other box right there. If you accidentally grab it here, it will only snap to the center of this line. Control D to duplicate, and Control D to duplicate. All right, let's make another box. This box, again, in inches, point, point two eight for the width and one inch for the height. We're going to set it right here in the corner. Notice that directly on this corner, this one rests the box. Control D. Control D. And Control D. Okay, now that we have our vertical run and our horizontal run, let's hold shift to highlight these and hit control D. I can then move these down. Let's take these, hold shift to highlight all of them, control D to move these over. And let's delete every other one starting with this one. 
delete, 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 delete. Just like that. All right. Now we highlight one, highlight the other, and we can use a path difference. Notice the, the shortcut for this is control and minus on the keyboard. Or you can use it in the key, this uh, menu. So again, this one and this one. This time I'm using control minus. Now can you do more than once? Well, more than one. Try it. And it doesn't work. Haha. <laughs> There are ways around that, but I'm just going to make you do the control minus for right now. And later on, I'll show you how to do that faster. Okay, there we go. So, let's zoom out. Take this. Put it in the corner. Control minus, or wait, con control C. Control D, haha. <laughs> Control D. Now you see these snaps are kind of annoying now, so you might want to shut those off. And what we want to do is set up six of these. Hold Shift, Control D. There we go. And let's zoom into the corner. I'm going to put like this little box here. And this little box serves as a as a point at which the laser can go and regulate zero. So this is the zero point on the document. This box serves no purpose other than making space between zero and this one right here. If I had not put this here, it will suck it the whole images up to the corner. So the box has access space. So we're going to save as, and we're going to save this as a PDF. One more thing, let's make it sure our lines are the right width, shall we? Before we do that, let's highlight all these. And let's go to right click, fill and stroke. Let's go to stroke paint, make sure it's black. And let's go to stroke style and go to inches. And we want 0 0.001. Now it looks like they all disappeared, but if you zoom in, there they are. Just check each one, kind of mentally look at them. And it looks like they're all the same. Good. Now, if you do not have .001 on our other laser, it will not register. The larger laser needs .001 in order to work. Okay, let's go ahead. save as. Now we can save as a PDF. All right, save. Here's what needs to be turned on. We want this one on, this one off, this one off, this one at 600. Use documents page size as the output page size. And hit OK. Perfect. So you're now ready to run that as a laser job as a PDF on the other machine. But that's it. That's how you make the notched box. Enjoy.